In today's video, we'll be embarking on a colorful journey testing the Artex paint markers for the very first time. Join me as I dive into the enchanting world of Disney's The Little Mermaid and bring her to life on canvas using these remarkable markers. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Hey there, art lovers, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here, and today we've got something really cool planned just for you. We're about to dive into the amazing world of the Artez paint markers, which are known for being affordable and quite popular on social media. And to make it even more exciting, we'll be painting Ariel from The Little Mermaid on a super cute wood slice. The savings you'll experience with Artez compared to the other big names like Posca and Karen are mind blowing. Seriously, Posca says can break the bank with an eight ton of Poscas costing the same price as the 30 set of Artez markers. And if you want to opt in for Karen marker sets, you'd have to spend almost five times the price to get 60 markers compared to the Artez. What? That is a massive difference. But here's the real question. How do the Artez paint markers perform? Will the colors be as vibrant and strong as they promise? Can you achieve even coverage without layering endlessly? And of course, are they easy to use? Stick around and join me as we paint Ariel and her friends using the Artez paint markers to find out. We're going to put these markers to test and see what they're made of. Let's have some fun and uncover their incredible capabilities together.
Now that we're nearing the end of this painting, I wanted to give my final thoughts before we see the final reveal. If you're looking for an affordable alternative to the popular Posca and Karen paint markers, these might just be the perfect fit for you that let me summarize some of the thoughts I had using these markers today. First and foremost, these markers offer a budget-friendly option compared to the higher priced Posca and Karen paint markers. With the RTX paint markers, you can achieve similar results without breaking the bank. So if you're a budding artist on a tight budget, these markers are definitely worth considering. I found the RTX paint markers struck a great balance between opacity and transparency. The colors were vibrant and opaque enough that we didn't have to apply multiple coats to achieve the desired effect, yet they were transparent enough to allow for beautiful color blending. Whether you're creating subtle gradients or bold color transitions, these markers deliver satisfying results. It's important to note that when working on a rough surface like wood grain with wider brush strokes, I did notice some fraying of the marker tips. While this didn't affect the overall performance, it's worth considering if you work on textured surfaces and required broader strokes. Just be mindful of the pressure applied to prevent excessive wear on the marker tips. Personally, I must say I thoroughly enjoyed using the Artex paint markers. They are incredibly easy to work with and they work perfectly. One of the standout features is there is absolutely no mess like traditional paints. With these markers, you can achieve vibrant colors without the need for brushes, paints, water cups. It's convenient and it's a hassle-free option for artists on the go. There you have it, the Artex paint markers offer an affordable alternative to the more expensive markers. They provide excellent opacity, allowing for color blending and are easy to use with no mess. Just keep in mind the potential for fraying on rough surfaces if you're interested in trying these markers out for yourself, be sure to check the links in the description. And here is the final piece of Ariel and her friends. I think it turned out really beautifully and I really had so much fun doing this piece. I do wish I had more red so I can add more tone to her hair and I struggled so much with flounder, but I got there in the end and I'm really happy. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give a thumbs up to this video if you enjoyed the content. I appreciate your support. And as always, stay tuned for more exciting art videos like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye.